Hi, this video is going to be looking at grouping cells into tissue. Similar cells can be grouped together into tissue. Tissue is a group of similar cells that work together to carry out a particular function. We have different subgroups of tissue depending on what the function of the tissue is. Throughout the course, we're going to be looking at these different types of tissue in more detail, but this video is just a little introduction into the different types of tissue. One type of tissue is bone tissue. Bone tissue is a hard substance because it contains calcium salts. The calcium salts allow the bones to resist bending and compression forces. Compression forces are squashing forces. Another type of tissue is muscle. Muscles are comprised of millions of muscle cells. They contract and relax. We have three different types of muscle. One type of muscle is voluntary muscle cells. Voluntary muscle cells means that the contraction of the muscle is down to the conscious thought process of the brain. When the brain wants to contract the muscle, the muscle contracts. When the brain wants to relax the muscle, the muscle relaxes. An example would be me moving my arm. My brain tells my muscle cells in my arm to contract and my arm moves. The word voluntary is used because my brain consciously tells the muscles to contract or relax. Another type of muscle is involuntary muscle cells. These are muscles that are not under control by your brain. They are located in the walls of hollow visceral organs, except the heart. They are present in the intestine and the bladder. Sometimes you may see involuntary muscle cells referred to as smooth muscle. The final type of muscle is cardiac muscle cells. These muscle cells are located in the muscle wall of the heart. They are under involuntary control, and this means that the brain does not consciously have control over them. So that's the three types of muscle cells looked at. We've got voluntary muscle cells, which are under conscious control from the brain. We have involuntary muscle cells, which are muscles that are not under control by the brain, and they are located in hollow visceral organs except the heart. And finally, we have cardiac muscle cells, and these are muscles that are located in the muscle wall of the heart. Another type of tissue is blood. Blood is made up of red and white blood cells in a liquid matrix called plasma. Red blood cells are used to carry oxygen and white blood cells are used in the immune system. They protect against infectious diseases and foreign invaders. Like I said earlier, we're going to be looking at all of these tissues in more detail later on in the course. This is just a quick introduction into a few different types of tissue and what their role is in the body. In our bodies, we also have nerve tissue. Nerve tissue is in the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Epithelia is another type of tissue. It forms boundaries between different environments. Nearly all substances must pass through epithelium. And by the way, epithelium is the singular form of epithelia. There are many different types of epithelia. One type is the ciliated epithelium. So ciliated epithelium cells have cilia on the top of their cells. The cilia are like hair, and they allow the cell to move material along. Another type of epithelium is squamous epithelium. The lining of the cheek is made out of squamous epithelium. This brings us to the end of the different types of tissue that we're going to look at. Throughout the course, we're going to be looking at these different types of tissue in more detail. We're going to be looking at what role these tissues play and how they are made up. Also, there is more content, quizzes and past papers available on the website. The website is www.elevise.co.uk.